Good morning, children. Welcome back to English class. Now, today, let me start with poem, okay? Now, all of you open your textbook and uh, we'll start up with poem. Last class, I had completed uh, unity in strength, that is lesson number four, okay? And I had finished even the exercises. I hope you all have written in the textbook. Now, let us start with poem. This is a small poem. It is uh, actually it is based on the sounds of the animals. Okay. Now you all know the animals all make some different sounds. Okay. So what is that exactly the sound is? It's not just simply they'll be screaming or whatever. The sound is actually it is the language. It is the language of the animals. We feel that it is only just a sound. No, now we all are speaking, human beings, they speak. We all know once uh, the baby is born, gradually it starts learning how to speak. So we all have got certain words and different languages to speak. There are so many languages, Hindi, English, Kannada, Marathi, Urdu, Tamil, Telugu. So like this, there are so many languages and human beings, this is how we interact with each other. While you are talking to other person, you use the sound that sound is the language what we are using and it has got words also okay but same way even animals also they need some language they have to express their feelings now you express your feelings whether you are happy or whatever of course when you are happy you will be smiling everything but still the reason for the happiness or the sadness or why you are crying or anything like that for any feeling so what do you do you need to tell someone that is it may be your friend or your relatives or for anybody for any one person you have to interact with them you have to tell them what your feeling means that is you have to speak out from your mouth you need something some words to tell them then they will understand so that is called language what we are speaking okay whether it may be different uh, you may be speaking Kannada, English, Hindi, Marathi. So that language has got certain names. So different languages. So when you tell only, they'll come to know, okay, why you're feeling happy? Why you're feeling sad? Why you're crying? Okay. So there are different ways of expressing. Now, animals also, they feel sad. They feel happy. Okay. And they'll be like crying. So all these things will be there even in animals also, not only human beings, even in animals also, they have got the feelings. So how they express? So for them also, they need to express. They express, of course, animals also express their feelings. When you have a pet dog in your house, when you go, it will be so happy. It starts wagging its tail. You can see its ear with full of uh, blunt pattern. Like that, it comes and it will be rubbing its body against your leg. So, and it will come and sit on your lap. This is the way it expresses and it also makes a different sound when you go near that, when you pamper the dog. So, that is the way of expressing because it doesn't know how to speak, but it also has got a language of expression. So, like this, there are so many animals. That means all different animals have got its own language to express. So what is that? That language of expression is nothing but the sounds in animals. So sounds, sounds in animals. Is nothing but the way they express express that is language the way they express the, the sounds they do that is the language for animals even they express so today our poem is based on animal talk
So animal talk. Now humans talk. That is what we speak. We are talking. Okay. What we speak out is called talking. We in class will be telling children, don't talk, don't speak so loudly, don't talk loudly. So what we are speaking out is called talking. So as I told you, animals, the sounds of animals are nothing but the language what they speak. Sound itself is the language for animals. So for that, we are telling animal talk. How animals talk? What is the sounds? The sounds means talk. The way they talk by producing some different sound. So each animal has got its different way of making sounds. So today our poem is based on animal talk. That is the sounds of animals. What all sounds they produce? Okay, I want you all to listen carefully and follow the textbook. Page number is 39. Now I'll start with poem Animal Chalk. Once I'll read out, keep your finger on the book, hear, carefully observe, look at your textbook, and then again, next time I'll read one, one sentence and then I'll explain it to you. Okay. Ducks quack, bears growl, geese honk, wolves howl, hens cluck. Horses neigh, bees buzz, and donkeys bray. Cats meow, dogs bark, birds chirp in the park. Turkeys gobble, cows moo, tigers roar in the zoo. Snakes hiss, pigs squeal, hyenas love a great deal. Owls hoot, mice squeak, animals too love to speak. Okay, now see in the last line, I told animals too love to speak. Even animals also they like to speak. So, how they speak? By making the sounds. Now, I have read the poem completely. One by one sentence I'll read and I'll explain it to you. Okay, now let me rub this. In this poem, you can uh, learn which animal produces what sound, what sound they do and how they speak. Ducks quack. So what is the sound of duck? Ducks quack, bears growl. So duck will do quack quack. You know the sound of the duck is quack. Bears, they growl, Boo, they make, they, from the throat produces the sound. So the bear's sound is Growl. What is the sound of the bear? Growl. Geese honk. Okay. Honk means the sound that they produce. Honk. Geese. You know goose, geese. All this. So they honk. Wolves howl. So sound of the geese is honk. Geese honk, wolves, sound of the wolves is howl, okay, hens cluck, hens, you can see the hen when it is moving on, cluck, 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 it will be making, that is near the throat it has got one red color, you see, so it produces sound, so that is a cluck, 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 it will be making, hens cluck, Hens cluck. Horses neigh. So the sound of the horse is neigh. Neigh. Bees buzz. You know, um, bee, it will be rounding on the flower. If you quietly, if you hear, you can make out the sound. Bzz. It will be making that sound. So, bees buzz. And donkeys bray. The sound of the donkey bray. It will be, it makes the sound. Many children, they play with that sound. They keep near the throat and they do all that. Okay. So, donkeys. Donkeys. 
three i want you all to learn the uh, names of the sounds for which animal what sound they are doing okay cats mew dogs bark cat mew what is the sound of the cat mew dog it will bark birds chirp in the park wherever you see especially why in park they are telling because in park you can find many trees and plants so that is the reason many birds will be there in park you will be sitting on the trees outside on the road and all hardly you find uh, trees and plants on either side of the road that's all but in park it, there are many varieties of uh, plants will be there so birds will be sitting more in park that is the reason birds chirp in the park turkey's gobble gobble means it is inside the throat like a swallowing sound comes so that is turkeys it's a type of a bird turkey g o b b l e gobble gobble cows moo as you all know cows moo what is the sound of the cow moo and tigers roar in the zoo in the zoo tigers so to be roaring what is the sound of the tiger roar okay snakes hiss snakes you all know pss, pss, it will be coming so that whenever it puts its head down like this it will hiss so snakes hiss and pigs squeal snakes hiss pigs squeal s q u e a l hyenas love a great deal hyena bird you all might have noticed hyenas love a great deal owls hoot and mice squeak owls sound of the owl is hoot and mice squeak yes q u e a k squeak okay animals to love to speak so now children so these are the sounds produced by all these animals this is the animal and the sound are right here the animals this is the sound okay so this is animals and this is the sound produced by those animals ducks will quack bear growl geese honk wolf howl hens cluck horse neigh bees buzz donkeys bray cat mew dog bark birds chirp turkey gobble cows moo tiger roar snakes hiss pigs squeal hyenas low owl hoot mice squeak so note down this write down copy down quickly i'll give you one minute time again i'll read the poem once again and i'll explain to you overall okay copy down quickly Okay, children. I hope you all have copied. I want you all to copy down this because you should know the sounds of animals. Now, once again, I'll read out: ducks 
quack, bears growl, geese honk, wolves howl, hens cluck, horses neigh, bees buzz and donkeys bray, cats mew, dogs bark, birds chirp in the park, turkeys gobble, cows moo, tiger roar in the zoo, snakes hiss, pigs squeal, hyenas laugh a great deal, owls hoot, mice squeak animals to love to speak now you can see the picture of all these animals whatever sounds they have given all those animal pictures you can see around this poem now the overall poem the meaning is what even animals also can talk not only human beings when animals also they will speak but their way of speaking is different we all have got words to speak and words to explain and they be expressed but animals they have got only the sounds where they can express their feelings and of course they do some actions but those actions it's not from all the birds and animals it's we can't understand but only animals can understand now how human beings we interact with other human beings same way these animals when they interact with other animals the way they speak with the sounds only they interact with their other animals so they speak in that way and of course they will understand their languages animal one animal will understand the language of other animals so animals animals they understand they make the sounds they produce different sounds to make them understand when they are far away you you might have noticed when the cow is searching for its baby calf it will be uh, screaming it makes the sound but the sound is in different pattern it will be searching uh, its kid so it will be roaming everywhere the same way when the kid when the baby of the cow calf it hears the sound it produces different sound telling that it is here i am here it is replying in different pattern but the sound that sound also varies so this is how animals animals will speak they will understand their language so all of them love to speak starting from animals till human beings so that is the main theme of this poem not only human beings even animals and birds have got their own language to speak and they also love to speak okay children i hope you all have understood i want you all to practice this poem you may get even in this poem for your annual examination and note down this i hope you all have written down i'll rub and then i will uh, give the homework like um, you write this poem one time as well as question answers for previous lessons i'll write down the homework here okay for today your homework will be given a previous lessons question answer then next class i'll give you a homework to write this poem okay Symbol and right meanings. Two times and and question answers one time first and. second first question and second question from from lesson unity is strength okay i'll write the lesson number also lesson number 4 lesson 4 
यहाँ पे स्ट्रेंथ क्वेश्चनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोदेशनोद